On behalf of the USC Sol Price School of Public Policy, it's my great pleasure to welcome you to this kickoff celebration of our 90th anniversary as a school. We opened our doors 90 years ago. We became, at that time, the second school of public affairs in the nation and the first school in the West. We were also the very first school in the country to offer the Master of Public Administration degree. This past year, U.S. News & World Report ranked us as number two among 283 public affairs schools in the country, and yes, we are still number one in the West. One reason the Price School is what it is, and it is one of the great public policy schools in the country, is because of its terrific partnerships with our governmental organizations, with nonprofits, community members, and all of our partners. I want to thank you for making us a better school of public policy and a better university. The Price School has an, an extraordinary biography. The early days of teaching classes here to transforming now skylines of every major city in the country through its real estate program, to leading some of the nation's top nonprofit and advocacy groups, to serving as elected officials in every branch and level of government, and to administering some of the largest healthcare systems today, and doing this not just locally, and not just nationally, but around the world. The faculty of Price are also leading the scholarship that is inventing the future, using evidence-based research and policy analysis as a way to inform decision makers and solve complex challenges. Thank you to the impressive Price alumni pioneers for having a positive impact in the world. Thank you to the Price family for their investment in the most impactful policy school of the 21st century. In 1929, the founders of the school came together with the governor of California, the mayor of Los Angeles, other dignitaries, faculty and staff, and they embarked on a flight for civic progress. They flew in an airplane to several destinations in the state, announcing the formation of this new school and their commitment to the public good. The Price School has met each generation of challenges with purpose, principle, and a pioneering spirit, forging solutions to create a more resilient and just world. It's remarkable how many leaders today are in positions that were actually educated in part uh, by the Price School. And we are so grateful to the Price family for their incredible investment in and commitment to our school. For those of you who are students today, you have the privilege of pursuing the degree in public policy at one of America's finest universities. With this opportunity comes a great obligation, that you extend a hand to build a better society. Focus on what unites us rather than what divides us. Others look to us, they do look to California. And in just a few years, those of your students, they'll be looking to you. And we all need to work together. We need to um, get out of our comfort zone. We need to compromise a little bit. My dad always says, today is too late. And so every day I am gonna work as hard as I can to help meet all the goals and keep California golden and hopefully become the fourth largest economy in the world. I am very pleased to add my congratulations to USC for being among the first to establish the School of Policy. I'd like to congratulate Dean Knott on his tenure, which has seen excellent growth and substantial increases in funding for the very important efforts of the school. For many students, the Price School experience will motivate them to pursue careers in public service while it provides them with the training to make sure that they are successful as public servants. We were first called the USC School of Citizenship and Public Administration, reflecting our founders' interest in civic engagement and the role of citizens in policy. They didn't want a government that aggrandized itself but rather one that worked to improve the quality of life for people and their communities. And that mission also defines our school to this very day. 